people always say, what's your working method? Do you do so many hours and then you stop? I mean, I, I don't think many writers have a prescribed method or routine and say, I'm going to get up, I will have breakfast, I will write, I will stop. I never do that. I get up and I work. And if there's something I want to achieve in a particular day, I will sit there till I've done it. Oh, on other days, if it, you know, it's not happening for me, if my brain feels tired or my mad imagination is, is in, you know, sort of stasis, I stop and I do something else. But when I pick up on something, especially in the research phase, when I'm chasing something down, I will sit and sit and sit and sit till I've cracked it. And so in that sense, I could sit for two hours or 10 hours. It really varies. Every single book I've written, although I have a laptop, I don't like writing notes in a library on a laptop, I have had a series of numbered ring file books in which I write by hand my notes in the library. And I have a system of particular coloured highlight pens, yes, and I like particular kind of medium strength gel pen. I know writers can be very obsessive about their pens and their pencils, and I don't feel very comfortable writing notes directly onto a a screen. I like to write it down as I'm digesting it and reading it because I think it stays in your head better. I think when I'm really focused I could probably work in a completely blank space with no windows at all if I had to but I love to be able to see a garden out the window and for too many years my view was a road and lots of buses and police sirens and ambulances and noise and now I've got the kind of view of a garden and I can see the birds coming and going on my bird table. I use music an awful lot. I did particularly when I was writing this book. I played a huge amount of Russian music, uh, particularly when I was writing any tragic bits. <laughs>